Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you six tips on how you can work faster in Photoshop. First of all, let's talk about the thing that most people don't know yet. That's also one of the best things that Adobe has finally done for Photoshop. If you need to copy layers to another document, it's such a hassle. You gotta do that whole drag your window out and then drag and drop your layers into your new document. But in the Photoshop CZ 2018 update, Adobe finally released the copy and paste feature for layers. Now, you can simply select the layer you want, press Ctrl or Command C to copy, switch to your new document and paste it. It's funny how long it took Adobe to come up with this feature, but I'm just glad it's here. By the way, you're going to run into some issues where this won't work. And the reason why is because you have an active selection. So if this happens to you, just press Ctrl or Command D to remove your selection and now you should be able to copy and paste your layers. Adobe has a tool called Libraries, which lets you store and access your frequently used assets. You can access this panel in Photoshop by going to Window, Libraries. I like to create Photoshop templates like in my YouTube thumbnails and store them in here. You can also store graphics, layer styles, colors, and more. By the way, these libraries are also available and synced to other Adobe software like Premiere and After Effects. The best way to work faster in Photoshop is to work more efficiently. So try to do things with less layers. As you know, there are many ways to achieve the same edit in Photoshop. The most powerful tool for any tonal adjustment is the curves. This single adjustment can replace many other adjustments and it keeps your layers very simple. It's also a universal skill that you can use in other software. If you want to learn more about curves, check out my channel. I have tons of tutorials and you're going to find out that it's not as hard as most people think it is. The next tip is keystroke combinations. You already know about hotkeys, but keystroke combinations is a little different. First of all, this only applies to you if you are using Windows. So Photoshop has a lot of hotkeys, but not for everything. For example, one of the things that I do the most in Photoshop is to convert a layer into a smart object. But there's no hotkey for that. Technically, I can go into Photoshop's preferences and try to find a hotkey that's not used and set it to that. But in less time, you can just memorize the hotkeys to access it from the menus. If you hold the Alt key, you'll see an underline under a letter of the menu. This tells you the hotkey that you need to press to open that menu. So to convert a layer into a smart object, I can press Alt-L to open the Layers menu, S to go into a Smart Object sub-menu, and then S again for Smart Object. So now that I found the keystroke combinations for that, next time I can just press Alt-L-S-S to quickly convert a layer into a Smart Object. You can find these keystroke combinations for almost everything you need, and don't forget that this trick also works with other software. Something I find funny is that some people buy the most expensive camera equipment and camera bags, but when it comes to computer accessories, they use the cheapest stuff possible. Typically, it's the keyboard and mouse that comes with the computer. The first thing that you should buy is a good gaming grade mouse. Now don't let the term gaming make you think that it's not good enough for professional work. They're just marketed towards gamers and there's actually some of the best quality products you can buy. If you have troubles doing things like painting in a mask, Upgrading your mouse will improve your precision. Next are macro keys. These are additional keys that you can record to do anything you like and you can find macro keys on both keyboards and mouse. Once you have it set up the way you like it and get in the habit of using it, you'll be working faster than ever. For me personally, macro keys have been the biggest improvement towards my workflow. So for your next keyboard, try to find one with macro keys. Finally, there are other accessories that you can buy. You can get a dedicated macro keypad, media control board, or a loop deck if you primarily use Lightroom. My favorite is Palette Gear, which is a modular setup that you can customize to your workflow. And the reason why I like it is because, number one, it works with more than one software. Something like a loop deck is perfect for a Lightroom Classic, but that's about it. With Palette Gear, it automatically switches profiles depending on whether you're using Lightroom, Photoshop, Premiere, etc. Number two, it maximizes your workspace. You can customize the modules to fit your workspace and when I'm traveling, I like to just bring a few and combine it with my small Dell XPS laptop. It makes a nice portable setup that will fit on an airplane tray. Number three, it's expandable. You can start off with a medium sized kit and in the future when you need more, you can always add more. Some of the accessories that I mentioned are not cheap and it's not something that I recommend everyone go and buy. 
Obviously, for professionals who make a living off using Adobe products, it's a no-brainer to buy these tools because they'll pay for themselves in the form of reduced work time. But if you're not on that level, I say start off at least with a good quality mouse. Nowadays, they're so affordable and there's no reason to not use them. Finally, make use of Photoshop Actions. It's one of the best features of Photoshop. Whether you want to create your own or download someone else's, they can save you a lot of time. For example, I do real estate photography on the side, and over time I created my own set of Photoshop Actions to do 90% of the work for me. Without these actions, it would take way longer, and frankly, I don't think I would enjoy it. Two of the most popular websites where you can buy Photoshop actions are creativemarket.com and graphicriver.net. There are so many actions there, and you're going to find cool actions that you never knew you could do in just a few clicks. Also, as a personal plug, if you want to buy some of my Photoshop actions, check out my website at sparklestock.com. I have actions to retouch skins, replace skies, create double exposures, and more. If you do buy anything, thank you so much for your support. I really appreciate it. Now, if you're looking for something that's free, I also have a ton of free Photoshop actions that you can find by visiting photoshoptutorials.ws and going to the download section. Another great website for free actions is spoongraphics.co.uk. Just search for a keyword actions and you're going to find some incredible stuff. Finally, there's also a lot of actions at brusheasy.com slash actions. Hey, thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, please remember to hit the like button. Also, if you have any other tips on how to work faster in Photoshop, let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear your opinion. For any requests, you're welcome to send me a message, leave a comment, uh, write to me on Instagram, anything you like. I'll try my best to get to it and see if it's something that I can do. Anyways, I hope you have an amazing day. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next video.